What is up guys? Welcome back. I'm Matt Polarx. Uh, I'm show you what we got in store for today on the 240. Let's get it. So I've gotten a lot of parts. I've ordered a lot of parts for the time that I was gone. Um, I got I ordered this because I decided I need to eliminate something that is absolutely useless for the drift world. And um, yeah, I actually haven't opened it yet. I hope it's for the left-hand drive and not the right-hand drive. Um, but yeah, uh, GK Tech, their parts are really awesome, really good stuff, uh, really like high-quality stuff too. Um, eventually, I'm gonna replace a lot of the suspension components that's on my car right now that are still stock with uh, GK Tech uh, steering uh, suspension components, suspension parts. But um, in the meantime, while the head's still at the machine shop. We're gonna go and put this on because I got the space to do it and we'll see what's what's inside. So I actually ordered this through conceptzperformance.com which they do carry GK Tech components or parts. And this is actually the ABS Delete because it's a that big block is absolutely useless in a drift car um in my opinion and plus it doesn't work but guess what look at that right there it says left hand drive so it comes in a bag well it comes in a box and then the bag but um comes with uh stainless steel braided brake lines uh that would be placing replacing the um the hard lines in the engine bay i'll take you there so we're going to be eliminating this, which is good because it gives better clearance for the turbo manifold. Um, the hard lines and this hunk of junk right here, this bulky ass thing that I really hate. Um, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, a couple years ago, it actually like when I would park and I shut off the car, it would make a buzzing sound. So I already knew it was already broken. Plus I don't even have wheel speed sensors on the front. I took them off when I changed to the angle kit and replace my wheel bearing so um yeah we'll get to the install for this and um yeah let's get it oh one thing before i start prepping the car to do the install i just want to mention uh, i actually want to apologize i'm in shorts and a tank top because right now on guam it's showing 88 degrees but the real fill is at about 100 degrees and it's it's the middle of the day and it's hot as hell so um yeah i apologize for that uh, yeah, here we go with the time lapse. All right, <laughs> so it didn't come with instructions, which is okay, I guess, because there's a video on YouTube. However, that video on YouTube is for the right-hand drive. So I kind of tripped out a little bit on why there's two, li two long lines that it's gonna run across the firewall. Um, so watched it again and I kind of figured it out and understand the I guess um, how the install is gonna be with these so um, yeah um, yeah <laughs> so um, got the car up you're gonna need the car up on jack stands because you need to access your brake lines and um, you're gonna need to access the uh, the mounting nuts for, that holds the bracket for the AVS module, which is also located, I think, here. Yeah, which is right there. So, um, yeah, we'll slowly get into it. Um, I guess this is going to be somewhat of a DUI, DIY because um, there's no, or at least I couldn't find a video for the install on a left-hand drive uh, vehicle. So, um, yeah, we'll get into it slowly. So first off, it says to disconnect the, well, it says to drain the brake master and then disconnect the hard lines from the master itself as long as, as well as the, the hard lines that connect to the hoses that lead to the brake caliper, which is, this is on the left side or the driver's side. And then same thing on the passenger side. So I guess we'll get to that. And um, thing is, I, I don't have anything to drain my brake master it's dirty as shit 
Um, so it's just gonna, I guess I'm gonna make a mess everywhere. <laughs> All right. All right, now that we got those hard lines loose, we're gonna disconnect the hard line that leads to the right, front right uh, brake. Pull that hard line completely out. And then we'll start to work on the, um, the brake master itself, or the ABS module pulling that completely out. All right, so next is to disconnect the ABS module from the, like, I guess, block that leads to the rear, which is right there in the middle of the screen. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that. So for the S14 ABS module, the, it's mounted down here. This one there, one here, and then another one right here. So we're gonna take all those three nuts and then uh, hopefully we can get the ABS module out. I know I gotta disconnect the connectors, I think, which is right about here, these two. I'm not too sure. We're just gonna disconnect it and we'll find out. modules out uh, all right let's go ahead and explain this for a little bit real quick so the GK tech for the left-hand drive models comes with two long lines and two short lines so let's go explain this line first so this long line with the banjo fitting that's gonna go to the rear port or the port for the rear brakes which is the front it's gonna run along the firewall and then go into that port where um, that T fitting ish, that block that I pulled off. So that's the first thing. And then you're gonna have this thing here. So that, that T there, it's gonna have, um, it's gonna be connected to this one, this short line, or this, this, this short line with the banjo fitting. It's gonna go to the rear one, which is for the front brakes. It goes on to the T here, and then this short line, and then this other long line which will lead to the front brakes itself. Okay, that was a little sketch I'm trying to figure out how to run the lines but um and it looks a little funky because it's kinked and all i do not know i do not know where to mount this the t fitting um there was no real areas where i could possibly put it so i put it in that spot um around the line for the rear brakes like this and it's yeah you can see like there's some slack I'm gonna go ahead and um, secure that down later. Same thing with the uh, line to the uh, passenger side. Actually ran a little funky also. I ran it, because I ran the T there. I ran it in between here to lead to 
be back on the back the other side of the engine bay so that's it for now i'm um, actually found out that one of my brake hoses is actually leaking so when i pulled off this line on the passenger side i kind of moved the the hose and then it starts to squirt so uh looks like i'm gonna have to buy new brake hoses also i might as well just get for the other side also um eventually probably order gk tech also because it's still still it's stainless steel braided might even get a new um as you can see my my little funky uh clutch line here it's actually half hard line and then when it gets down towards the bottom you'll see a where's it at you'll see a steel braided line that leads to the clutch slave so i might replace that too since i'm up here while i'm in this position or this predicament where i actually have space or whatever um so yeah that's um that's it for today i'm actually in a hurry which kind of sucks <laughs> but um gotta go run some errands real quick but um stay tuned for the next episode i don't know what we're doing so you gotta find out come watch the next video uh like comment subscribe if you like this kind of stuff i don't know if i'm the first or only one that did the gk tech abs delete on the left hand drive but um at least here's a little bit of a heads up of what goes on for the least s14 when you do the abs delete i mean i'm not gonna lie it looks a little funky but i like it there's a lot more space to work with especially on that side but um that's that's basically it all right till next time